Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Huh? My dog Toby is an incredible dog, an amazing dog, a miracle dog, the type of dog that you sit back and like you sit on a piece of paper and you sketch out all the things you'd want in a dog. All of those things are Toby. Toby has a job here on our farm, and his job is to guard our ducks and geese and chickens. He stays here out with the birds. He watches them unsupervised. And anytime any sort of predator, whether it be a mink or a bobcat or a coyote comes near, he goes nuts and scares them away. I never really planned on having a livestock guardian dog. You know, I always pictured having like a farm dog who just kind of loafed around and acted goofy. Or maybe having one of those fancy border collie Australian shepherd types of dogs who I could use as a herding animal. But guard dogs always seemed somewhat unnecessary to me. I figured, you don't need a guard dog. That's why you have fences and coops and secure things to keep your birds safe. Wrong, 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 wrong. Now Toby and his breed is a special breed of dog. The Maremma Abruzzese is an Italian dog. They are typically used to protect sheep in the mountains of Italy. The sheep are often preyed upon by wolves, and so it's the Maremma that keeps the sheep safe. These dogs have been bred for thousands of years to have the right natural protective instincts. And those are the same instincts that I see manifest themselves with Toby. Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. One of the nice things about having Toby around the farm is he's like my constant shadow. When I'm out here doing chores, he's always with me. It's uh, pretty great. It's not like Pablo and Lil weren't good companions around the farm, but there's something about a nice farm dog that makes it even better. I think part of what happens when you spend that much time with your dog, you start to develop like a connection with them where I don't even have to talk to him sometimes. He just kind of knows what I want him to do. Hey, come on, come on, buddy. Toby, come on, help me out. Come on, Toby. Come on, here, where do you go? Hey, Toby, come. Toby, come. Come on, buddy. I need your help here. Toby, come. Come Toby is such a good dog that sometimes I wonder if he can not only be just a guard dog, but also a herding dog. Toby, come on! Need your help! Some days it's really easy to get the geese in their house. Other days it's an absolute nightmare. Toby, come here. Come on, Toby, come. Toby, can you help me get these guys in? I know you're not a herding dog, I really know that. I know you're a guard dog, not a herding dog. But I need your help. Can't get these geese in tonight, huh? There you go. Easy peasy. Not. 
Toby Dog, I really got to admit, man, you weren't much help there. All right. <laughs> oh, Ducks, go to bed. Oh, Ducks, go to bed. Come on, you stubborn ducks. Get going. Come on. Get out of there. Toby, come. Hey, you're scaring them away, buddy. <laughs> come on, Toby. Toby, come. Hey, buddy. It's not a All right. Hey, Toby, we're going to let her do her thing. We got to focus on chasing these chickens in. It's one of those evenings where nothing goes right. Very frustrating. So I'm still having to train the baby chickens to their home. They haven't quite learned it yet. So some of the baby chickens have learned where their home is, but not all of them. Come on. Up the ramp you go. Yeah, oh wait, it's a real easy to do. It's so easy. Hi, Barbara. You were asking for it, pumpkin. Wait, didn't we tell you it was bedtime? Did Daddy tell you it was bedtime? Yes, he did. Good night. Good night. Here, Allison, drive her right into the net, right? Just drive her. Hey, she's smarter than you, you know that, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Hey Toby, you're not really doing much help here either, buddy. Exactly really help. I got you. I got you, pumpkin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pick you like this. I'm sorry. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. All accounted for. Such goosey belly. You know, that's one of the benefits of Toby. Because we have Toby patrolling the grounds here, I'm not worried about a predator like reaching underneath there and getting at one of them. And harassing your geese? Yeah, I only have to worry about you harassing the geese. <laughs> <laughs> you left it out there. <laughs> that makes it so much easier. She, she'll come for the net. <laughs> In you go, Kay, you good duck. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> Good night, ducks. For some reason tonight, it doesn't seem like everything is going my way. The birds are being very, very difficult. Right now is one of those times when I really wish I had a herding dog. You know, with a herding dog, I could use them to like strategically move the birds where I want them to move and have them do all this fancy stuff and, you know, really drive my flock so Allison and I aren't running around like morons trying to chase down chickens. But then again, that's not what Toby is. Toby is a livestock guardian dog. His job is to protect the ducks. It's not to herd the ducks. And I know sometimes I've actually gotten frustrated with that fact. Like sometimes I've, I've like struggled with trying to make him be something he's not. And when it comes down to it, Toby doesn't need to change. If anything, I'm probably the one who really needs to change. I need to change what my expectations are for Toby. It's important to just accept him for what he is. He is an awesome dog. He is an amazing dog, but he's not a herding dog. I think a lot of times people will think of a, a tool or they'll look at an animal or they'll even think of a person and, and want them to be something that they need, but they're missing the value that that thing actually has or that person actually has or that animal actually has. And, and they're almost 
making it something that it's not. And I think for me personally, that's a good lesson. I think too often I'm, I'm usually trying to make things something they're not. And, and sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's admirable. Sometimes that pushes things beyond. Sometimes that makes you a little bit more inventive, but other times it just leads to frustration. So yes, yeah, sometimes I wish I had a herding dog and maybe someday I'll even get a herding dog. But I gotta admit, I'm still happy that I have a livestock guardian dog. Because right now, as I start to hear the coyotes off in the distance and I know the predators are out and are running around, I'm very confident that my birds are gonna be safe. They're not gonna get attacked. And that's because Toby is a livestock guardian dog. And that's the value that he brings to the farm. And I'm just gonna accept that at face value. <laughs> I couldn't possibly end this video without giving you guys a quick little update on Lil Barn Cat. So yeah, Lil is doing really good. She's healing up like a champion. You can see she's got her cone off. She's got her stitches out. She's starting to groom herself again. She's doing really, really well. Again, I gotta say, we really appreciate all the gifts you guys have been sending Lil. <laughs> she's got a crazy amount of toys. Lil, look, 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 look what I got, Lil. Catnip mouse. Boo. <laughs> oh yeah, you like to eat that thing. I'm really amazed just how her recovery's gone. I want to thank you guys for the support of Lil Barn Cat and all the love you've been sending. And uh, yeah, she's out of the woods pretty much. I, I feel I'm feeling really good about her right now. We just had her blood work done when she had her stitches out. Everything's looking normal in terms of her internal healing. She's still gonna have to be inside this crate for several more weeks, um, probably about another six or seven weeks, really. And her pelvis was broken in several places, so it's gonna take a little time, but she is healing up. She is a champion. I'm really excited about her recovery.